Hello, and welcome back to Let's Play Serpent in the Staglands. I'm your host, Bring It Dawn. And uh, here we are, still in Emerald Metallus. I'm gonna keep walking around, seeing what there is to see. Uh, if I have a chance to this episode, we're gonna head back to Wood's Edge. Constable and a squire. Uh, where can I find the constable? He's like right beside me, uh, behind me, but I doubt he wishes to speak to one such as you. He's weighed down with many important matters at the moment. As you say, Squire. Well, good news is I have a level 5 harbinger with me. Aye, uh, do you have any bounties up? With the native attacks of late, our attention has been off local villains. Mayhap once we're back to normal, Spicer. Excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Very well. Uh, but I do want to head back to Wood's Edge, back to the Padiri Cave where those, uh, like, vases were. And I want to play with those, see if I can get anything out of that. Uh, also, I, I took down a couple of notes off camera. Uh, I want to go back and look at those runes again that we saw at Istakale Camp. Or they may have been at the ruins, I'm pretty sure they were at the camp itself. I, I'm going to go back and play with some stuff, because uh, I feel like I'm missing a lot of details. I just want to go back and fiddle with some things. Um, I think if it ends up not being anything, I'll just keep it off camera. Uh, anyway, uh, yes. Uh, let's see. I'm crossing through Emerald Metallus and wish to meet the leader in charge. What did you think of our war-torn land? I'm surprised you're alive to greet me. The raids from rebelling native tribes have been unrelenting as of late. Uh, let's see. The threat of a little skirmish on the road does not frighten me. And where do your travels take you? I'm intrigued by a merchant willing to take on such a risk for what little profit our district has to offer right now. Unless you're on your way to pay homage to the uh, Varukov king. Actually, I'm seeking entry to the temples of the Staglands. I have a desire to sample their wisdom. There are not many temples except the one to Nikolai and the shrine for the wandering lady. Although I know not where it is, there are many priests in Quorum if you seek the aid of uh, the godly. You must think it's odd I'm so inquisitive, but I'm actually in need of one willing to risk the roads. The pay will be worth your while, and on your way out of town. Are you interested? Yeah, I'm interested. Oh boy. Uh, I'm sure you know that the natives are organized and planning to attack our consul. And in desperation, we're willing to open diplomatic relations, mayhap even restoring some lands and rights. They'll attack our ambassadors on site, but they will not attack merchants that ride into their camps peacefully as they need supplies as much as we do. All you have to do is deliver a, all you have to do is deliver a gift, a rare soothing magical sal magic salve and a note. Uh, I can do that. You'll find the ambassador at a camp not far from the village. I'd recommend bringing a skilled linguist so you can speak their language. I believe there is one currently haunting the library. The witch will include a note in the witch will include a note in their glyphs though. So if you find yourself short an interpreter, just hand it over and look guileless. Where can I find the witch? At the end. I'll let her you're on your way. Come back when you've handed over the gift, and I'll see you well rewarded. Okay, that's the woman I talked to earlier. She's like, no brew for you. She's very rude. At least I know where to go. So I chit-chat with her, drop off the uh, thingy. It's over here. Nothing. Oh, wait, there's something. That's right, I've been in here. This is the, uh, the library. Oh, this is convenient. It takes me right to where I need to go. Let's step back outside real quick. Back outside. I want to uh, see... Is there anything I missed outside? That cleared most of the area. If not all of it. Yeah, looks like there's something over there. I don't know how I would get at that, though. Unless there's a path underground. Well, let's go talk to the witch first. The herb witch. That's what she was called. I think she was up here. Uh, I'm sorry if my uh, commentary is a little lacking today. I'm very groggy, and I don't know why. Uh, okay. Come again? You're hovering over my shoulder like a bat while I'm luring. What do you need? Uh, the counselor said you had an un unguent. Unguent? For me? 
The witch stops twitching and fills the jar with a soft, perfumed salve. Seals it with a wax stamp and attaches a pre-written note with, a, with twine. Take it. Fly away now. Farewell, wench. Alright, so I'm supposed to take this to the camp, right? Oh, I think my inventory's full. Um... Did she actually give it to me? Or am I, uh... Alright, well, it says new item in inventory, so let's just see if we can take it where we need to go. Well, I don't think they ever told me where... It said the ambassador was at a camp outside of town? Uh, recent conversations. Let's see. Yeah, you'll find the ambassador at a camp not far from the village. I'd recommend bringing a skilled linguist so you can speak their language. Well, luckily, my main character is a linguist. Um, I have that native horn as well. Maybe I can use that when I'm around them. Because I had no effect previously, but if I use it in the, uh, you know, around the natives, maybe it'll do something? Except the camp is nearby, so I'm going to just check all four, or the square around. Here we go. <sighs> the square around Emerald Metallus was what I was trying to say. Hopefully they don't mind me just walking around brandishing my weapons, like I own the place. I'm just going to clear out this area real quick before I go and talk to uh, the ambassador. Can I squeeze through this stuff? No. Let's go this way. These winged shroomers. More expansive than I thought it was going to be. I don't know, native. What if I get a native companion? I thought it'd be difficult though, since we don't speak the same language. And you'd have to have a linguist in your party, which is fine. Oh, there's the ambassador. I missed a campfire in tents. Natives, uh, natives mill around, not attacking you, but not welcoming you either. One steps forward from the group and beckons you closer. With the best knack for languages in your party, I'll step forward. The expressionless native stares you down with latent hostility. Attempt to start a conversation. You rummage in your satchel and you find the gift the counselor and witch have entrusted to your care. Oh no, Batface. Uh, I'm here on behalf of Emerald Metallus in hopes of carrying a peaceful message to your leader. The native seems to understand you and relaxes by a small degree. He begins speaking and you, are, and you are dismayed to find you can only understand one in five words. Still, you are able to gather his intentions, discerning that he is curious to hear your offer. Uh, the counselor of Emerald Metallus has asked me to bring this gift to be given to your leader. The native holds out his hand, and you place the carefully packaged salve and attached note in his palm. Uh, the counselor hopes that this gift might be taken as a sign that he is open to discussion of lands right, land rights and peace. The native looks skeptical, but accepts the gift and your speech with a nod, and hands the jar off to a subordinate. He conveys that he will send a delegation to deliver the message, the gift to his leader immediately, and abruptly ends the conversation by turning his back to you and walking away. I'm alright, I'll be on my way then. The native motions to his companions and suddenly the camp seems to be buzzing with tension. He turns his back on you and leaves. Okay. Wonder what's going on. I feel like the counselor probably, uh, 
He's trying to kill the leader. Like it's, it's probably like a poison or something. Let's quick save. Watch me get attacked once I try to exit the area. I can go and uh, talk to the counselor and get my reward. Nope, go over here, please. I want my money. The padding in this game is pretty good though. I can click across the map and my characters will find their way there. A lot of games don't have that good of padding. Like AI will get stuck on walls and crap if you're not diligent. <sighs> I'm happy to see you returned. Uh, indeed, it was not a long journey. No, they are bold to set up so nearby us. And were they hospitable? Okay, uh, yes, I think the natives are really just misunderstood. A lovely race. And did you deliver the gift? Yes, I gave the ambassador the unguent, or unguent and he left to take it to his leader, I imagine. Excellent. I'm confident this will lead to a ceasing of the attacks. Your reward will shall match your risk. We're very grateful for your assistance. I appreciate it. Don't know how much he gave me. I'm going to assume 500. But I don't actually know. I don't think they have a weapon merchant here. It's just the one shopkeep uh, in the inn. Alright, um... It's something that I want to do. Uh, it might seem a little unprovoked, but uh, it's somebody I want to kill. Because he has something of mine. I think I need to sell some stuff first. Uh, well, let's just check out down here first. The Emerald Mines. Wasn't there something down here in 18? Ambushed. Little son of a gun. Ask her, was it good to the mines? Ooh, explore everywhere we can. Now, oh, what the heck? Harvester? Can't save? Of course not, was I thinking? Oh, goodness. What are they like? I guess they're like shrimmers, but worse. Things are terrifying. Still chasing her, don't like that. So you keep running. Keep kiting, keep kiting. This guy's not want to go down without a fight. I was terrified. He was like wiggling around on the ground. Ugh. Please stop chasing her. Come on. Can't 
kill this thing, gosh darn it. Well, that was annoying. I'm not gonna lie. All right. 150 experience. I think that's how much I got for part of the quest I just did. But yeah, she was the closest one too when we spawned in, so it, uh... So I don't have room. Gosh darn it. Let's make it a little easier. Stack these up. Clear up some of it. There we go. Is that more harvester scales or is that it? That's not important. Alright, let's get out of here. Yeah, that would have been too bad if it weren't for uh, them focusing on my archer. Oh, to the Emerald Mines. But yeah, the person I want to kill is the uh, the guy in charge of the orphans. Because I can't pickpocket him. But I almost guarantee he's got my papers. My uh, my spicing, Spicer Trader papers or whatever. I'm willing to put money on it. Because he, uh, he's in charge of the, the kids. And when I walked into the inn, a kid bumped into me. And then I didn't have my papers. So I bet you anything that guy's got him and I can't pickpocket him so I'll probably have to kill him to take it let's walk in here yeah I can grab some emeralds all right I'm all about it I can't take that ladder up it looks like oh it doesn't lead to anything anyway Talk to these guys, it looks like. Uh, Kirillu. Kirillu. Ho there, looking for some traps? Uh, just assembled a new batch. Good against harvesters. Easiest to kill when they've sl slipped and are sprawled on sprawling on the ground. Uh, yeah, indeed. My stores are low. Can I see what you have? Yep, he definitely has uh, traps. Let's uh, sell him some of my garbage. Come on, there we go. Ah, oh, we're 27 apiece. I got a fair amount of them. I want to compare that to other stuff that I got. See, mushroom powder was supposed to be selling somewhere else. Uh, it's supposed to be a Sonya and Emer Emerald Metallus. I must have missed her. of interest. Nothing in here of interest. A witch. Let's talk to her. Oh, hello, dearie. What can I do for you? Let's see. You're a witch. I can see by your gardens. Do you have any exotics you'd like to get off your hands? That's right. This is the one that uh, that guy told us about that he, he's going to sell us a map to. Uh, I just grow a few roots and tubers back there. Nothing that would interest you. So I wonder if I, if I had the map, if she would have uh, offered to sell me something. Let's see, I'm new to the area. Can you tell me anything about the town? What town? You mean this cluster of huts? Oh, you poor little thing. You must be missing a few screws. It's okay, I am too. Breathing the emerald dust will do that to you. It makes you a little loopy. Would you like a cookie? Uh, did you cook it? Aren't you a funny one? Of course I did, sweetling. Here, take it. Okay. Is just the sweet biscotti? Because I don't really need that. So be it, I guess. Come on, this right there. There we go. All right, she's busy. Can I take her stuff? 
All right. I think I can set any traps because all my uh, I don't have any wood wise people in my party. Oh man. This reminds me of the. Uh, I'm getting the feeling of the mines in Baldur's Gate. The first one. I go in there, I'm to kill a bunch of uh, enemies, and I can flood them if I want to. Hasn't happened to me in a while. Oh, son of a gun. Hurt really? All right, scratched at least. Oh. She has no chance against these guys. The whole party's having trouble puncturing his armor. I don't like that one bit. I did not want to fight more than three of those guys. Oh, I guess if I had my spiders up, it would have been a little easier. Yeah, actually, let me compare this to the other sword. 42. 52. Okay, yeah. What I've got is better. Or what's equipped is better. Quick save before I run into a whole herd of those darn harvesters. Because that's not going to go in my favor. I have a feeling. What if I can use those barrels to my advantage uh, when I run into the harvesters? Still in hurt, but there we go. There's like four camp punctures in a row. That is terrifying. I see a lot of damage though. Don't seem to be they don't seem to be exceptionally strong or anything. Do they really not Are they just having trouble stacking? Oh, there's a cave over here. Or well I guess it could be the mines. That's that's where I'm at, or the mines. Oh, this is like the edge of the map. Right, that's actually bring these spiders into it. There we go. If I can get a summoning horn for these harvesters, that would be fantastic. These guys are brutes. They look really cool too. They have like the extra arms on their back and they have like the tentacle faces. Some sort of Cthulhu monster. Which I am all about. Actually, how's she doing arrow wise? I should probably. Refill that. This uh, sheaf of arrows plus one. Is that not it? 
Graffitis. Sheaf of arrows. Maybe I'm not close enough. Yeah, because I can't even pick it. There we go. Graffitis. Sheaf of arrows. Plus one. Boom. All right. Let's quick save. Let's find a circle all the way around. I saw a sparkle. Maybe we should go clear this area first, and then we'll come back to that door. I'll have to wait to the next episode to actually explore what's inside that cave. Or mine, I guess, because that's pretty sure that's what it is. A campfire. This area is pretty large, and once again, I didn't expect that. Crazy that all these harvesters are so close to this, uh, you know, town or mining collective. Mining colony? Okay, nothing else up that way. Let's go over here. I want to finish clearing out this map and then, uh, before we go underground. Probably call it an episode. So that it just connects back over here. Hi, right, Superintendent. What do you got? Uh, yes. Do you work in the mines? Why, are you looking for a job? We're not hiring now. You can come back later and ask, although frankly, you don't look like the type that would last uh, last down in the dark. Well, well, I wasn't, but now I'm rather offended. Why would I last? I can promise you, bodies pile in my wake. I'm not sure that a pile of dead bodies would convince me that he'd be good for anything except attracting carrion fleas, but I meant that working the mines is drudge's work, mind-numbing and soul-crushing. There's a certain type of desperation and culmination of years of low expectations. Kind of a backhanded compliment, but very well. I had some questions for you. So ask them. Uh, can I go in the mines? Only my workers go in the, into the mines. It's off limits to anyone else. Nothing to see in there anyway. Uh, do you know anything about the underground Barakov realm? I heard they they lived under these mines. All I know that they supposedly live below these mountains, and they don't like outsiders. If there's an entrance, it's not here. I wouldn't bother looking. If they want to be found, they'd seek you out. Ask that again. Okay, so that cave over there probably leads to the Varkov Kingdom. Take these out the mines. They be, appear to be close to you. Well, luckily for me, there's another way in. All the way over there. I mean, that's some sort of body of water. So not let me go that way. I can't go any further this way. Probably can't go any further that way. All right. It's the time. Uh, we can start exploring underground, I guess. Let's do a quick once around. That's a barrel over there, but... Oh, I missed a, uh, a scale. Let's go grab that. And this barrel.
All right, let's head on the ground. <laughs> Knocks down and does three damage to the barrel. Good job, me. Show that barrel what's what. Where we have her? We're in the mines. She says that there's nothing to see down here. These might be abandoned mines and not the actual uh, mines that he's working out of. Oh, so these darn flying streamers. Or winged streamers, whatever. What is this? That looks like a tunnel. Can I not interact with that at all? That's definitely a tunnel. That's hmm. Maybe I need a torch to see it. Yeah, it's not letting me interact with it at all. Like, it's not even something I can inspect. That's odd, because that's definitely a tunnel. I mean, I guess it's not. Definitely a tunnel, it could just be an indention in the wall or something. The gosh darn it looks like a tunnel. Like, really badly. Really badly looks like a tunnel. Servant. Okay, at the mouth of the cave, a well-dressed Varkov is conversing with two servants, giving precise orders in a tone that commands obedience. A blood-red tiara sits atop her head, and her air of self-assurance alerts you that this is no common traveler. With a bow, I'll step forward. A wandering lady curse you. I did not expect anyone to make their way down into my temporary quarters, and I can't say I'm pleased by your presence. State your intentions quickly, or I'll find myself forced to act against you. Alright, I'm seeking answers for a personal matter, but mean no ill will towards you. Then you'll find none for me either. Uh, I do find myself curious as to what answers you seek in an abandoned cavern. Uh, what do you know of the Wandering Lady? The God of Portals? Nothing at, nothing at all outside of common lore. If this is your quest, you will not find answers in this mine. I advise you look elsewhere. Uh, do you know anything of the Varkov's realm? Of course, Dimwit. I am the Varkov realm, or, or at least the heir to it. I should say one of the heirs, for my brothers and sisters are numerous. I'll tell you this in case you think to take me for ransom. With so many siblings, I think my father would find his treasure more precious than a daughter. Especially a daughter. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, you do not know what it's like, forever underground, in a cold, cramped world lit by firelight. It haunts, haunts you to know that you could escape for sunlight and freedom. Many of the young ones have left, ignoring the pleas and wishes of the elders, not caring that they will not be welcomed back. And it's not likely I'd inherit anyway. I'm not my father's favorite, so I left. I'm on my way to the consul. The consul will welcome me as one of the blood. Uh, shouldn't a princess have a better guard? My eunuchs are more than adequate to defend me. Test them if you will, but it will be at the expense of your life. Okay, indeed, but if you find them inadequate, I might be going to the console. You can join me, but you'd have to part ways with your servants. I do not have room for them. That's a generous offer. You seem competent enough, and my servants have no wish to be here anyway. They've only come at my command. To be honest, I tire of hearing their disloyal pleas to return home. I warn you, though, they will carry word that I am with you and a description of you. And if you cross me, you'll find the Emerald Metallus an unfriendly place to be. I might not be the favorite of my father, but the Barkovs protect their own. Uh, very well, let's be on our way. Let's, um... Let's hold off on that for now. I do want to see what her stats are. She might be better than anybody else to have in my party. But I want to finish exploring this place first. Actually, it looks like I may have reached the end. Oh, there's a couple chests down here. I have room for a rope at least. It can stack. Not gonna let it stack. Okay, let's get rid of that then. And 
but uh And now it stacks? Okay. Can I just not open up this chest? Whatever. Alright, well that looks like the next step. Maybe if I just take her to Emerald Metallus, that'll be the end of that quest. Yeah, because that's the way out. That's... It looks like another door. Why can't I go in this door? Hmm. Yeah, it's the same... Same appearance as the door that I can exit out of. But I can't do anything with it. Alright, well, we're going to call it here, and in the next episode, we'll, I guess, take her to Emerald Metallus. I'll probably drop someone else at, I'll probably get rid of him or something, and go pick him back up at Corum. That's my best course of action. Uh, anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Actually, you know what, in the, yeah, in the next episode, we'll probably take her to Emerald Metallus, go get him at Corum, and I'll head back to the Paduri Cave and mess with those torches. And I might kill that guy in Orf's Bridge and see if I can get my uh, papers back. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I hope to catch y'all in the next episode.